Hey there, this is Justin from Haunts Wargaming. Today we're going to be making some desert rock terrain. For this project I used MDF for the uh, bases. I like using that with foam, I think it adds a lot of weight. It just keeps the terrain from shifting around on the table. I saw another YouTuber use contact cement to uh, bind foam together. And I wanted to try that out. So I uh, did half the project with uh, the contact cement and then I used construction adhesive for the other half. The contact cement did uh, end up eating through the uh, foam board. So I, I wouldn't recommend using that. It wasn't a huge deal. I just flipped the uh, pieces around and glued them upside down. And then I uh, sculpted around the, those uh, damaged sections.
one thing I will say is that I think I made the initial layer uh, way too light. I should have made it darker, and in future projects I will probably do that. When I put the next layer on, I kind of wanted this like deep red rock effect, and uh, it wasn't really working out for me, so I decided to just paint over it again. It did end up providing a nice undercoat, but that wasn't my intention. I went with a more orangish brown color, and I think that looks a lot better. If you'd like to see more videos like this, I'd appreciate it if you would subscribe and hit the like button. That would help me out a lot. At this point I thought the project looked pretty good and I was ready to call it finished. But I, uh, I had some Krylon crystal clear uh, satin spray lying around that I wanted to try and use as a top coat. After I sprayed that and let it dry I realized that it did kind of give a little bit of a sheen to the project and it also kind of muddied the colors. So I wasn't really happy with that. To remedy this I thought I would try uh, dusting the entire project with grout and then spraying it with water. This is something I've never tried before, but I, I kind of wanted to try it to see if it would work. 
just to uh, take the glossiness away. But that didn't really work out like I had planned. And uh, I wasn't really crazy about the, uh, the way the color of the grout looked on the project. Uh, in certain spots when it was clumped up, it was like this really whitish color and it didn't really look good to me. So I decided to go back in and uh, do some touch up work with the paint again. And just make the highlights pop a little more. I went over the whole project with a tan color. Trying to cover up all the areas where the grout was standing. And then I dry brushed an orangish brown on top of that. And I think that turned out really good. There was a good bit of uh, trial and error with the painting on this one, but overall I'm pretty happy with how this one turned out. I'd like to thank you for watching my video. This is going to be the first in a series of desert terrain videos I'm planning on doing. I want to incorporate some 3D printed elements in the future, so be on the lookout for those videos. I hope you have a good day and I will see you later.